up mga kamamas at mga kapaps and welcome once again to my channel. So para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin at ngayon lang bumisita sa akin channel, I'm Clifford. I love cooking and baking. I'm a dance and singing enthusiast, an event coordinator, and of course, a teacher in profession. Kaya ngayon, gagawa ako ng tutorial series about Google Classroom para sa ating mga kapwa guro. Ngayon ay kinakaharap natin ng isang pandemya o problema hindi lang ng ating bansa maging ng mundo which is the coronavirus or COVID-19. So within with this situation, hindi tayo pwedeng lumabas. Ika nga ni Queen Fu, bawal lumabas. Kaya nagpanukala ang kagawaran ng edukasyon ng tinatawag na distance learning wherein si teacher at si students ay hindi na kailangan mag-meet face to face. So kahit nasa bahay sila, magkakaroon ng tinatawag ng, patu- ng pagtuturo or learning no? through the what we call different modes of teaching or yung alternative learning modalities. And isa na nga ron ay paggamit ng internet. One of that is the what we call Google Classroom. Kaya kung gusto mong matuto at malaman kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom, ipagpatuloy mo lang panunood mo. We are now in the second part of our tutorial series of Google Classroom. And if you want to watch part 1 of this series, just click the link on the description below or just simply click the card on the suggestion video on the upper right of this video. In this part of our tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create and to grade assignment to your students. In your Google Classroom, click the Classwork tab and under the Classwork tab, click the Create button and choose Assignment. Write the title or the name of the assignment and put instructions if necessary. By clicking the Add button below, you can attach files from your Google Drive or on your computer files and also adding a link and a YouTube video. On the other hand, when you click the Create button, it will give you different Google applications such as Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drawings, and Forms. For instance, I will be giving an assignment to my students on the different classical composers during the classical period and also naming their different compositions. They will submit their output by following the template given to them. And we can assign the following for that particular assignment like points, due date and time, and the rubrics. The rubrics have three options such as create rubrics, reuse rubrics, and import from sheets. In this example, I will be using the create rubrics. A rubric page or window will pop up and on that window, you can name your own criterion and you can also add descriptions on your criterion. By giving points, we can set the level range. My highest point on this criterion is 10 with the level title High. You can also add description if you want. By clicking the plus sign, it will add another point level. On this example, I will be making three levels. On the second level, I will put seven points with the title Intermediate. And for the third level is five points with the title Beginning. And if you want to add another criterion, just click the Add Criterion button here. Add more criterion until you meet the total points you set on your rubric of your assignment. If you're done, click Save. You can assign now, schedule, or save draft the assignment you created. Choose save draft if you are uncertain with the date to assign. Schedule is by choosing a specific date to assign your assignment and assign if you will be giving the said assignment immediately. I will choose assign on this example and then click assign to finish. Your assignment will appear on the classwork tab. 
when you click the assignment, it will give you necessary information including the monitoring numbers such as assigned and turned in. Assigned reflects the numbers of students who task to do the assignment, while turned in are the number of students who already submitted their assignment. The assignment created will also post on the stream tab, and your students will be notified about the posted assignment. Once all students submitted their assignments, go to Classwork tab and click the assignment and click the turned in number. Select one student and click the attach assignment and it will proceed to the work of the student. Upon checking, give score based on the set rubric. The total score will automatically be computed above. When done, click return. This will send back to the students with graded work and comment. Go back again to the list of students and check another one. Do it one after another student. You can also add private comment for some compliment or note to improve. This number will give you details on how many are still assigned, turned in, and graded. Make sure that all assigned will be sent in turned in and grade all the works of your students. As a first-time user, you will be struggle a lot, like me. But when you keep on using it and be familiar to use it, it will be now easy for you to use, as if you are a Google Classroom expert. That's why there is a saying, practice makes perfect. If this video helps you a lot, don't forget to like, share to other people, and of course, subscribe. And for you to be updated for my new videos, just hit the bell button. That's all for now and see you on my next video.